Okay, um, Utes are back in town. Had a, a long trip to Columbus, Ohio. Um, had one heck of a trip back. Endured uh, protests at the airport, airport outages, but we made it back, about 24 hour delay. Everybody pretty tired. Um, but overall, we can look back at a pretty good uh, weekend of tennis. Uh, played a very good Ohio State team, um, lost to them, but I think we played pretty tough. And then uh, on Sunday, did something our program hasn't done in six years, and that's uh, beat a good DU team, Denver team. So we're excited about that and, and look forward to next week. So with that, I'll turn it over to you guys. You just played Denver last weekend and you're playing them again this weekend one of three teams coming in do you expect to see similar lineup or something different that's a great question uh that was something we were planning on uh, kind of going over yesterday but uh, we were all over the place uh, with uh, trying to fly back so we didn't really have the chance to connect uh, i i um uh, i don't have an answer for you today on that um you're going to be playing a double header and you played a double header last weekend at home as well. Can you describe a little of what goes into those doubleheaders and the mindset that the team tries to get into? I think doubleheaders, uh, uh, you know, they're kind of necessary, especially early on in the season. Um, other advantage or advantages other sports have that we don't have is that, uh, you know, we can't substitute during during games. If you're a basketball player, you can rotate people in and out and give them, you know, 10 minutes here and 20 minutes there. We unfortunately can't do that. So uh, I like to play a few doubleheaders a year because it gives us an opportunity to rotate some players through and get some match experiences out there. And that's what we're planning on doing again this upcoming weekend. Uh, it's a lot of tennis for most of the guys. They'll be out there, uh, you know, two singles matches, two doubles matches. Um, but I think it's just something we need to do. Uh, what were some positive individual performances that you noticed from this past weekend in the two matches? I think uh, I, was, I, I thought the performance against Ohio State was a real good team performance. I thought we put ourselves in position uh, to win the doubles point. I think that was positive. I think uh, um, we competed very hard in all the uh, um, all the singles matches. I'm very content with with Dan Little and the way he's playing right now, uh, doing an excellent job. Uh, you know, he was probably. Uh, you know, a little bit more experience. He'll probably win at Ohio State. He was up and leading that match, going into a third set. So I was very pleased with him and, and, and what he's had to go through for the past year with injuries um, and, and some motivation issues. I'm glad to see him back. So that's exciting. And, um, you know, overall, I thought, you know, the Denver match, again, was, was pretty good, well around match from the team. Uh, so, you know, nothing really individual on that one.